Welcome back to another video. I've got a power bank in for testing. This was sent in via Banggood and it's the Xiaomi PLM18ZM 20,000 milliamp power bank. I'm running over the specs on screen for you just so you can briefly see that. And there's your verification code in the top right hand corner. Very basic bundle with this, just the power bank and the charging cable and user guide. The cable on this is quite short, it's just over 30 centimeters in length, and for some reason they've given you a micro one rather than a type C. User guide is in Chinese, so I'm going to skip over that part. Taking it out of the box, you just have the wrapping on there that you need to take it off, and the power bank itself is a bit bigger than the 2C, which I looked at a few years ago. It's a bit smaller than the Pro which I covered last year, but I'll get on to the weight in a minute. Peel off the front panel sticker and there's your ports. On the underside there's some more details of the power bank, but I'm going to cover that in detail now. So I'll show you on screen what the inputs and outputs are. Remember because we have the type C, we can use that as an input and an output. So you have three outputs and the micro USB is just for an input. Comparing it to the 2C that I looked at a few years ago, now it's still working but it is a bit bigger in every dimension, certainly thicker, a little bit longer, and it's also a bit wider. I thought I'd put these on the scales to measure the weight, and the latest power bank is pretty much the same weight as the 3 Pro, whereas the 2C is a fair bit lighter, around about 361 grams. I'll just quickly show you the low power charging mode, just double press the side switch, and that puts it into the low output mode, and this is ideal for devices such as MP3 players, Bluetooth headphones, anything with a low capacity battery with a slower charging rate. As you've got two inputs, the Type-C or the Micro, I decided to see whether or not you could use both at the same time. And the answer to that is no, you can't. You can only use one of them. For example, here I have the Type-C plugged in and now I've just plugged in the Micro and you can see no current going through that at all. The display is actually on the power bank with that one in the top right. But if I take that out, you'll see that it switches over to the micro USB and charging around about 1.6 amps on that particular power bank. It does seem to prioritize the Type-C over the micro USB. One of the reasons I think they've left the micro in is because it's such a common connector. Perhaps it's useful to have that as an option. One area to note on the power bank is quick charges just for a single output only. Doesn't matter which one you want to use, but the minute you plug in another device, you can see on screen it's dropped the voltage down to 5 volts. I did test the charging speed with the supply cable and the results are on the screen for you, so you do save quite a lot of time with the quick charge. Finishing off the test, the charge capacity with the supply cable at 5 volts 2 amps came in just over 20,000 milliamp hour. Discharge capacity came in just over 13,500 milliamp hour. And remember, if you're using the quick charge or multiple ports, that drops to a figure of around about 12,000 milliamp hour. As this is an update to the 2C, what they've done is added that Type C port, and that was one of the criticisms that I had of the original power bank. So that has come at a slight cost of weight and size, but it's also more affordable than the Pro version, which I looked at last year. So if you don't need the additional voltage, of 15, 20 volts and the higher amperage of the Pro model, this is probably the one to go for.